Manhattan Trade Center will be the tallest building in America when it's completed and gets its certificate of occupancy. Right now, the Willis Tower still has that title, however briefly. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, which is based here at IIT, made that decision based on the building's design and the significance of its height. The quest to build the U.S. tallest this time round was inspired by events other than economic reasons. And that's the first time we've seen that in the U.S., let's be clear. Rising to an architectural top of 1,776 feet, One World Trade Center bests the Willis Tower that taps out at 1,451 feet. But it does so only because of its spire, which the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat says is part of its architectural design. The TV antennas on top of the Willis Tower don't count, the Council says, because they are not permanent and can be changed or removed without affecting the original design of the building. The demotion matters little, though, according to Blair Kamen, the architecture critic for the Chicago Tribune. While this may seem a, a temporary blow to the city's ego, it's not really a big deal. I mean, frankly, being the nation's tallest building is almost, well, it, it just, it, it's, it's okay. not like being the world's tallest building. Of course, the Willis Tower, back when it was the Sears Tower, was the world's tallest building. It has since lost that title. Currently, the world's tallest building is the Burj Al Khalifa that is in Dubai. And that is significant for Chicago because even though we don't have the tallest building in the world anymore, the tallest building in America anymore, the people who built the Burj Khalifa, architects here, SOM in Chicago, and Adrian Smith, the same gentleman responsible for the Trump Tower and the NBC Tower, believe it or not. So a lot of the talent that's building the tall buildings around the world is still based here in Chicago. Chicago. Reporting live on the campus of IIT, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Back to you, Marion. At least we got our fingers in there somewhere. <laughs> Thanks so much, Charlie. <laughs> Appreciate that.